Hey guys, and welcome back to our White Tigers Rising series here with the Truro City Football Club. And as you can see, we've climbed a little bit to 12th in the table on 49 points. So we're four points behind um, Dagenham and Redbridge in fifth place. And we are 10 points clear of Bromley in 21st. So we're comfortably sitting sort of in the middle uh, of things. So let's take a look quickly at how the month worked out for us. Um, so we last met, we drew 1-1 with Cheltenham. Uh, we then we then visited or had Forest Green visit with us, uh, who are, are up near the top of the table, and they beat the pieces out of us. Um, we got one back just to, you know, feel warm and fuzzy, but they, they sort of motored. Um, Borum Wood was a disappointing game. We actually were out. Uh, in uh, on this one, we were out four uh, two. We were in front, and they just came back and put the uh, pedal to the metal um, to us. But as you can see, between sort of the beginning of December here to this sort of point in February, we were or and even the next game, we were playing a game about every three days. Um, so the squad is absolutely just exhausted. Um, I tuned down training to see if that would help, but we were still, um, we're just, we just weren't recovering guy. You know, the whole squad was in bad shape by the end of the game. So, um, this was a game we probably could have hung on and won if we were in better condition, but the fitness just wasn't there. Um, we then played in the FA trophy third round. Uh, against a you know, a bit of a minnow, and unfortunately, again because of the fitness, you know we were on four ga four days rest here. Um, we managed a two one win in extra time, uh, and then we had our first sort of proper week off, um, and then played uh, away at Walking and managed to beat them two one uh, with uh, Callum Hall and Lewis Nyman getting the goal. Or I'm sorry, um, Carl Wright and Liam Prim getting the goals. Uh, in there. So we are now uh, at third in the table, Plymouth. We are on TV today, so we pick up a few extra bucks for the game. Um, we are home uh, for this one. So Cornwall Derby Part 2. Um, and as you can see, we're kind of getting into the stretch run. We are still in the FA Trophy. We have Maidstone in the fourth round in the quarterfinals. Um, Plymouth are still in it, and I'll just show you what this looks like. So we play Maidstone. Plymouth and Forest Green are running into each other. Dartford and Kidderminster, and then Sutton, Sutton United, and Barrow are in there. Um, so it would be fantastic if Forest Green could take down uh, Plymouth, since we haven't had very much luck at all against them. Um, and I'd hate to have to deal with them in a semifinal uh, affair. Um, so we're going to get into it today. These guys have been screaming up the table. Uh, and I do mean screaming up the table. Um, again, we're going through a bout of uh, problems with our center backs again. Um, which is disappointing, uh, to say the least. Uh, McKinnon has started to play, or has been playing pretty well and pretty consistently, um, but we are struggling a bit with the second, uh, you know, with with what who that second one wants to be between Cundy and Chad Field. They just haven't gotten it, you know, gotten their act together. Um, and we're gonna give Llewellyn a a crack here. Um, Jordan Lee has been off. Uh, Elliot Nelson's coming back. He had a bit of a few off games. Um, and I'll fully admit that we got battered which in a bunch, which didn't ex exactly bode well for the squad. We had some, some struggles by getting absolutely sort of whooped uh, in, in there. Um, but Plymouth are going to be looking to kick the kick our teeth in here because they 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 can go to the top uh, on that. Although Stevenage has been playing pretty pretty crazy. Uh, on there 52 points gets us <clears throat> so uh, a decent showing today um, gets us up in there we really need to work on tightening up uh, defense in the offseason we've that's that's what's killing us um, we've sort of gotten away from what made us great there in the Vanarama South uh, unfortunately and we are getting hammered uh, by 
you know, in terms of defense. So we're going to go through, spend a ton of time in the off season between season four here and season five to figure out how we can, um, tighten all that up and really, um, really make sure that we come out in much better shape next year um, at the back. Okay, let's get a thing in here. So I don't have a huge hope for today. I'd like to give Plymouth a run for their money. Um, but we'll have to see how this one goes. Uh, they are playing much better and do look primed to uh, to be going back to League 2 here. Ooh, Wright gets in, finds Nyman, but he can't pull the trigger. Um yeah, they do look primed to be going back to League 2, uh, which is okay because it gives us a little breather until we smack into them again. Okay, McKinnon gets rid of that f dead ball there. Oh, Nyman's not going to catch that. And they have some really fantastic talent on that squad that I would kill to have on mine, but here we are. Okay, safe hands from Winterden. Nelson manages to get rid of that one. Nice. McKinnon stuffs that. Oof. Crazy stuff in there quickly. So we're eight minutes in. Oh, hold on. While we're before they decide to score. Um, whoop, Nelson manages to get that back to Calver. With Charlie Adams out, Calver and Rakowamwe are back in the midfield. And, and they have been playing very well. Um... So I, I have no real major complaints. Yeah, soft shot. Decent movement, but soft shot. Um, I have no real major complaints with them. Um, you know, with, with how things have been going. Prin, nope, he can't turn it right. Can we get a cross in there? Ah, Nyman just cannot get it in. Well, we're looking a little dangerous. I mean, we're certainly irritating them. Um, you know, I don't think we're... You know, we haven't looked the better side, but... Ooh, Fahad. Yeah. Um, we haven't looked the better side, but we certainly have been annoying them. Um, which is okay. I'm okay being irritating. If we can make these counters... You know, if, our, if we're dangerous on one of the... On, if we keep being dangerous on these counters, then they're not going to be able to press us... Um, as hard as I think they want to. Um, you know, if we can keep doing this, they're they're not going to be able to keep pushing their lines forward. They're going to have to keep settling. You know, they're going to have to keep guys back. Um, which is okay. Um, you know, it's, it's more favorable if they can't support their movements as much as they want to. McKinnon, okay. We're playing solidly. Um... You know, no super complaints. I mean, we're clearly not the best squad, to the best team out here today. Um, but if they keep shooting at us soft like that, we're we're gonna be in okay shape uh, for the day. You know, we can kind of we can kind of keep up with that crap all day long. Um, those soft shots right to the key, you know, right safely into the keeper's hands. Uh, we can keep up with that crap all day. I have no f major issue with that. Oh, Prin gets tackled out. Reed, can he get back? Can we get back and cover him? Decent work from Nelson, but Reed gets in behind us. Whoa, Chad Field with some with some quick recovery there. Winterton with safe hands. I've been on the fence. He's played very well for us, but I think we could. I feel like we could do better. You know, that he does make some mistakes and that that have cost us some, but I don't know. We'll have to see. And I'm nervous. I, I'm not necessarily convinced that. I mean, the the kid I think could step into it. Um. So if I don't find a really super hot goalkeeping prospect um, out there, I think we will uh, end up putting uh, Emineke in the uh, in the nets for next season uh, and letting Winderton 
let w- letting Winter- Winterton uh, go. Okay, well, we made it to halftime way better than we did in the last time that we uh, we've live come the uh, we live come the Cornwall Derby here. We we've we're doing much better. Um. Okay. I am actually pretty pleased with this. A point against a team in the top, you know, in the top three is is pretty is pretty huge for us. Um, it's actually really huge for us. So, um, you know, let's see if we can. Uh, let's hopefully we can make that happen. Uh, okay. Well, we're underway. Oof, right gets a little ballsy there and misses his tackle. Ugh, setting up one of these awkward set piece situations for us. I have to imagine after the good season that Prince had with us that Torque are going to be remiss to want to let us uh, have him again. Although, if they do go down, that may help us. Um, you know that that may that may be favorable, and and hope maybe we maybe we can take a stab at trying to get him on a on a permanent basis, or at least loan him again. Um, because he and Nyman uh, have really linked up uh, as a really as a really solid duo. Uh, um, they have they have very much so linked up very nicely. Um, so I've been pleased. And then Paul Acanelli, who has scored quite a bit. Um, I haven't found the magic to keep him consistent. That's that's the only hang up there. Is I haven't quite figured out the ah, there's the goal. <laughs> there's the goal. Nelson gets beat. Yeah, he just misses his guy in the back there. I think we're just going to sit them back there again. Uh, well, you have to say that goal's been coming for a while. They've been the better side. Um, they have absolutely been the better side. Uh, and they've been battering us pretty, uh, pretty mercilessly for... For quite a while here, so I can't really complain that 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 they haven't deserved what they've gotten. So, well, maybe we got something going on here. Ooh, Callum Hall almost makes some magic happen there. Well, that was spastic. I'm not quite sure what in the hell that little goofiness was. Wow, way to tackle your own dude. That seems solid. Our midfield is playing so well that they decided they needed to tackle their own guys for an additional challenge. Ugh. Come on. Well... At least we've been more competitive here at home than we were the la you know, on the road. Um, we have we're definitely definitely more competitive than we were the last time we got into a mess with these guys. So I'm pleased that we seem to have made some progress. Um, obviously, we're still not, you know, we're not as good as a team that's, you know, playing at the top of the division. Um, but We've made some significant progress. So there you go, guys. True City nil, Plymouth Argyle one. Um, you know, yeah. 
we lost. Um, but I, I think it, it's better, right? We've made some significant progress uh, since the last time. So we're still sitting... Ugh, eh, we're still sitting nine points clear uh, in 13th. So I think Plymouth got what they needed out of that one. Um, and they are top of the table. So let's look at the schedule. Um, so we will be back for Gateshead at home. Um, and then if we got anything with the FA Trophy, I think that actually happens in April. Um, if we do progress past the quarterfinals, we'll live com the semifinals. Uh, we'll do a double live com of the semifinals. Uh, and if, you know, God willing, we get through that, we will live com the uh, final as well uh, in there. But... For now, I will see you guys back here for the Gateshead game. So remember, um, if you like the videos, please leave a like on the videos. And if you like what you, you know, what we're doing on the channel, please hit that subscribe button so you can keep getting it. And I'll see you guys back here for Gateshead. Bye now.